Now, this new growth path started to have a lot of promises. The manifest of EFF says, the former liberation movement in office will never be sustainable solution to South African developmental problem in a foreseeable future owing to its ideological zigzag and open dominance of new liberal right-wing politics. The ANC, what they are doing currently, they've got a mandate of new liberal agenda. GIA is a new liberal agenda. ASKISA is a new liberal agenda. The new growth path is a new liberal agenda. Now this new growth path it's almost five years, 2012, 2011. I brought to outcome. They then proposed a new document. That document is called NDP. The content has changed. No. What has changed is the form. Now the form is NDP sold to us today. And now the NTP is saying the economy of South Africa for it to grow, let's anticipate by 2030, 2030 all shall be well. They are postponing poverty. Poverty has been postponed. No, the new the new growth path, the new growth path, the, the national developmental plan. It's a postponement of poverty. Secondly, that document is very beautiful. It's glossy with more than 400 pages. It clarifies poverty. It makes you to understand poverty. It makes you to love poverty. It makes you to embrace poverty. The new growth path. Now, fellow fighters, I want to urge you, I spoke about four documents. If you are a member of EFF, when we are dealing with these new liberals, you must know the new growth path. Because if you don't know this new growth path, you critique it without understanding. You become a, 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 a criminal politically at a particular stage. Because of you are criticizing without understanding what? Without understanding the content. So it is very critical, it is very important that you understand what? The content. I urge members of the EFF, all fighters, go and study this new liberal document called New Developmental Plan. This new developmental plan is the roadmap of the ANC to cement a way forward to advance new liberalism. So the ANC does not have a plan. The plan that they have is to bow down to their masters. Is to bow down to their masters. January 8, we saw them. They say we are going back to the Freedom Charter and then we are going to come along with radical political, uh, what you call it? economic uh, policies. Obama not going to Freedom Charter in any way for the first time. You see, ourselves as, as EFF, we are using the Freedom Charter as a posture to advance. But as we advance at a particular stage, we will then have to say, ours is a socialist agenda. You must have an entry point. Fighters, you see, a revolution, a revolution is not a stock failure. A revolution is not a beauty contest. A revolution requires you to have what you call revolutionary theory. I will make an example. Some of us, we are from PAC, isn't it? We remember in 1994, PAC came with a concept saying, land first, all shall follow, but no one supported PAC. 
is because of what? That is what we call the national psyche. What PAC pronounced in 1994 and what EFF is saying, are st are they, still the same. It's, it's one thing, isn't it? We want land without any compensation. But now, how? Why? Why many people are buying the, the, the what you call the message of EFF? The message of EFF and the message of PAC 1994 are the same. The content is the same. It's land. Land back to to the black Africans, the indigenous people. But how you sell it? Now, EFF is coming with a new form to sell the brand, which is the content of total liberation for economic emancipation. How you sell yourself, you see, how you sell yourself is important. You know, yeah, yeah, I've got to come inside here. Yeah. Fight. She's a female. I'm a man. In most instances, it doesn't count to woman. What it counts is we better than We better than Unfortunately, this generation is a wazuk <laughs> 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 okay, so what is the message of PAC 1994? It's because how you present yourself. Now, as EFF, the content is still the same that was said by the Khoisan. The battlefield that was waged by the Khoisan after the arrival of the settlers is where we are taking the spear forward. But how we posture ourselves, many people were saying, we have shown you forward ever, backward never. Oh. Yeah. Have you seen? Who are there in parliament? Aye. How you present yourself, how you present your content. You see, you've got a content. Now, this is how the ANC has, has done. is presenting its content using different forms to mesmerize you. And a Nazi is very key that we must have a way to win the hearts and minds of the people. They speak of the Freedom Charter, Tina City. Yeah, the Freedom Charter, then Kulmanayo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Freedom Charter 18, land shall belong to those who live in it. Yeah. But, but city, uh, uh, the Freedom Charter speaks about nationalization. That's our point of departure. It's our entry point. It's how we shell this women called society. Our agenda is socialism, but we've got an entry point, Baba. She's, she, 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 can, she can hear me. She's a woman. But, yeah, hey, the, <laughs> the middle class, there is what we call the middle class. Uh, revolution has stages. Currently, we are at a stage called initial stage of the revolution. And then we are going to move to what we call equilibrium. Equilibrium. And then in equilibrium, Ganyiwa, Ukwara, Ukwara, let it parade. It's not going to be easy. Fighters, let me tell you, what was displayed there in Parliament? The ANC is telling you, Guti, go to hell. You must be ready. The show is about to begin. To wear the red beret, it will require determination dedication and discipline a soldier without a revolutionary discipline is a criminal a soldier without a political content and revolutionary discipline is a criminal you will become the enemy of the revolution you are like now we want to tell you what they are doing you see I'm okay I just want to, to, to unpack this thing then tell us okay me there is a program called 
the three phases of destroying EFF by the National Intelligence and Secret Service. And we want to tell you up, uprightly that we do have a document as EFF. The document tells us to say, Jacob Zuma, Blake Zimande, the CEO of, 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 of one of the construction companies in South Africa, the CEO, Esma Khashule, Supra, and that former spy of CCP in, in Pumalang, and the treasurer of, of, of the ANC. They are meeting regularly with NIA and Secret Service and counterintelligence in Bituli. They have developed a program called the three phase of destroying EFF before 2016. One of the areas that they did politically, it was to ensure that they penetrate, they collapse our PPAs. They failed. They tried their best to collapse our RPAs. They failed. I was a national auditor of EFF. He who was auditing nationally. That's what I say to Ramakata. I was working with you, Minam Lungis. When at a particular stage, one, two, go, if you go to Tinta Matikates, Nati Baba, the whole council has spoken, there is no way. The, 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 in Northern Cape, collapsed. We paid more than two million. In Egurulene, collapsed. Because someone, when to change the case of Egurulene, who was a former national, uh, what you call it? Coordinator. And uh, when I was a national auditor, I know, I said, Chief, this is not a true reflection. When you send the list, send the audit report, not the list, so that people can understand how did they fail. They tried to march. They said thousands of South Africans are going to march to the head office of what? Of EFF. We saw three of them there. We were there witnessing it. But where are these people they are talking about? Today, we went to the NPA. They wanted NPA to collapse. And uh, fighters. We went to VAR. We paid money. Three weeks before the conference, they said, no what? No venue. We went to Free State. And those progressive intellectuals, they allowed us to do that. They penetrated NPA. You know what we took? We took a decision. As the inner circle, we say, we are not going to close the room for the media. I have actually attended ANC National Conference since 1991, in, in Mafiking, I was there, in Stellenbosch, I was there, in Pulukwan, I was there, in Mangawung, I was there. When is time, when is time for elections? The ANC chase away his watch, the media. But as EFF, we said, Commander in Chief, let's allow this process to be transparent. If it collapses, we are a failure to South African society. They don't believe that EFF managed out of its own contradictions, isn't it? To come out in the NPA as a united force. Fighters, they don't believe. Now what they are doing, they are using what you call black propaganda machinery. I became a commissar at the age of 14, underground, in exile. The commissariat is not a new title to me. I'm not trying to boast. What I was taught is what we call propaganda. So what is at play now? It's what we call dark propaganda. That is what we call white propaganda. White propaganda was done by Clayton on, on, on Monday. It's what we call white propaganda. They write a letter. They misconstrue the content. And at Clayton and Kenny, they must tell us we are going to open a case against them. <laughs> on what? On, on what? They took. It's on the morning we came and they the food. They took Maloy by force. 
They pretended that they are scorpions two weeks ago. They took Baloi to Kenny's house. They detained him. And uh, Baloi, our accountant, was afraid. It was Kenny, it was later. In the presence of Mkhitaryan. Listen here. I'm speaking openly. And EFF on Monday, Tuesday will respond to all this nonsense. Remember the letter, they, they sent the letter. You were panicking. You came at God. But it's a court. I, the commander in chief wrote a letter and said, No, nah, letter. The man is silent. And I put them to you remember when I'm out to see the court, when I wanted to dilute the delegates, was our two commissar Rapodi and one mama. When? When? Now, we are under attack. The ANC is having more than 103 years in existence. It's having more than 30 years experience of underground. It's having more than 20 years of government machinery in control of the national intelligence and other things. Now, the only way to divide these fearless fighters is to tell them lies, is to feed them with lies. But these fighters, because of their not political care, they will follow the wind. The fighters, they don't have content. It's that the fighters to say what the leadership is saying. They go to the Facebook. This CIC, this CCT. What you are, you say. Now, we must be very careful. This stage is a general stage. It's either we break or we go. Majority of you, I've been assigned only in my in my in my Facebook. I'll send letter uh, 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 what you call it, photos and say we are on stage one. We are on stage two. Within the national intelligence during the week, they came to us because we've got our own fighters within those security clusters and generals who don't want this partner. They say, you know what? Commissars of freedom fighters, these people they want to detain you for 24 hours under the tangent of parliament. So they are going to start with Malema and anyone who's going to speak. So we had to plan. We planned nothing. I was sitting in our own top. I ought to fight my way out in parliament. It's only GG. The secretary of the FF. It's only him and Natasha were taken under the tangent during the, uh, uh, the, the, the what you call. I think we ought to come forward.